because when we buy a new car, we, we want to protect the paint. I don't care if it's $20,000 or if it's $100,000 or a million dollars, that's still important to us to keep the car looking good. And for some car lovers, enthusiasts is like your wife, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly, yes. Hey guys, you got questions about PPF? You're looking to install one and you're concerned about a few things, so here's the video. Here's the best way to clear it up. We're gonna to talk to the expert today, right? Here I have Chris West. Hi. And uh, Chris is the Senior Director of uh, Install Operations at Expel. And I'm so delighted to have him here because, you know, we got an expert, he's seen it all. He's been in the industry for 20 years, 20 years, guys. So uh, I'm sure that we're gonna, you have so much history, yes. but a, a little bit of background for the viewers as they, so that they would know. Uh, Chris has um, been installing PPF for 20 years. He has his own company uh, up in Alaska. Yep. All right, and then, uh, you know, he's also, now, now you sold the company, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, and you've been traveling all around the world. You've wrapped all kinds of crazy cars. Crazy. What you yeah. name a couple of few cars that you wrap. Oh boy, there's a bunch. I've done, uh, you're a Porsche guy, so I've yeah. done Singers, and then if we go to the supercars and hypercars, I've done an Apollo IE, I've done LaFerraris, I've done uh, Pagani's from uh, Wyra BC to Zonda F. Uh, you could go through the list and I've been able to touch it, it's pretty cool. <laughs> okay. And you do all of that and you've done all the common man cars yeah. as well. Well, because I tell everybody all the time in Alaska, yeah. we don't have Ferraris. I mean, a Porsche in yeah. Alaska yeah. is like a Ferrari. Oh. But my, my business was built on doing daily drivers, Subaru, Honda, pickup trucks. Because when we buy a new car, we, we want to protect the paint. I don't care if it's $20,000 or if it's $100,000 or a million dollars, that's still important to us to keep the car looking good. Man, I'm feeling the passion from oh, you. I love it. That's super cool. And here's the best part why uh, I'm, I'm so privileged to have him on the channel today, because Chris is not just someone in, in an executive director or somewhere in, in, in the company, but he's been there, you know, he's installing, he's trained his people, he's built his company, he sold the company, but now he's with Expel. And uh, you know, he's also won multiple awards with uh, PPF installations competitions as well. So I thought, you know, if I want to find out more about PPF and really just get to the truth of PPF, I think we'll talk to an expert, right? So Chris, thank you so much for being on the show. Thank you. All right. So um, is there anything else I missed about the introduction that you might want to no, it's just a fun business. You know, I, I got a degree in engineering and uh -huh. I was in civil engineering and um, kind of like yourself, how you found Expel was by putting it on your own car, yeah, right? Yeah. So same here. I had, I had bought a new car and in Alaska, there's lots of rocks. Uh -huh. So I went to go figure out how my previous car looked like somebody took a shotgun to it. <laughs> so it was rock chips everywhere. So I, I was like, how do I protect this? And I heard about PPF. Uh -huh. uh, back then it was 3M. That was the only PPF there was. Mm -hmm. So I. I tried to get that put on and um, nobody really did it. No tint shops did it. So I thought, you know, this is it. I gotta do, I gotta have a shop that does PPF because it's Alaska. And then I started uh, my shop. So oh. yeah, that's, um, I, I, it's amazing for cars. Uh, it's not snake oil yeah. and it truly, you can look at a car with no PPF 10 years later and a car that had PPF and night and day difference. Night and day. Yes. Night and day. And yeah, like some of you guys watch my channel, I take my spider up to, to Chiang Mai and back, you know. Full That's confidence, great. full confidence, yes. came back, washed the car once, looking Looks brand new. Looks so dirty, right? And yeah, you're like, yeah. oh no, and then wash it and it's perfect. Like it was never, never been to Chiang Mai and back. Yep. Yeah. All right, so we got a couple of FAQs that came through my Instagram uh, and I wanted to ask Chris, but before we jump into the FAQs, Let's clear up some stuff. Um, first of all, I know it's a really, it's like a question that, Thomas, why are you asking this question? But I think it's an important question. So Chris, what is PPF? Because it's, some, people, some people say, eh, it's just some plastic. You know, I can wrap my car with, uh, you know, anything. And why is this guy charging so much for plastic? So what's, what's PPF? So PPF stands for paint protection film. Uh -huh. And it's basically a urethane film that uh, gener usually is eight mils thick, although we have a little bit thinner if you need to meet that price point, yeah. or a little bit thicker. But we, the reason that we use urethane, and then of course the urethane has adhesive on it, and then it also has a top coat. But mm. I'll talk a little bit about why we use urethane. So vinyl, a lot of us know vinyl, right? That's mm -hmm. what we do a color change in. Mm -hmm. Well, that's very thin. That's only two or three mils thick. Mm -hmm. Plus it's made out of PVC. So PVC or polyvinyl chloride is very susceptible to uh, weather, to sun. Mm. So the sun starts to break down that PVC and you'll see after a year or two years, especially like the sun down here in Malaysia, it will crack and start to deteriorate 
and then it, it just looks terrible. Mm. So we go with a urethane film because it has much longer longevity. So like Expel, we warranty our film down here in Malaysia for six years, even in all this hot sun versus a PVC that might only last six months. Plus it's three times thicker. Mm -hmm. So if a rock or somebody hits you with vinyl, it will go through the vinyl. Yeah. With the PPF and the urethane films, it will protect it. Yeah, and exactly. so because yeah. of that, although like vinyl being thin and mm -hmm. PVC, very cheap to make. Mm -hmm. So that's why that's cheap versus mm -hmm. urethane. It's much thicker and costs more to make. So that's why it's more expensive. Got it. And I believe in there's more than just urethane on it, right? There's a few layers of stuff yes. on it, right? So with the urethane, because the films in the past, you can see where people complain about yellowing, right? Mm -hmm. And they don't, they don't withstand uh, the heat and, and the chemicals. So what we do is we put a top coat on top of the urethane, mm. just like the clear coat on your paint. Mm. Because if, like, think about single stage paints yeah, back in the yeah, day, right? Yeah. If you didn't, without that clear coat, what happened? It oxidized, it weathered, it looked terrible. So manufacturers now put clear coat on your paint to protect the color. Same thing we do with the urethane. Yeah. We put a thin top coat on it, mm. and that's what protects the urethane from yellowing and makes it last six years. So the top coat is very important, mm. and you're cheaper so there's a bunch of different brands in PPF. Yeah. Your cheaper PPF brands don't always use a top coat. It's mm. just the urethane. And that's where you see them yellow, you see them get uh, stains, whereas the top coat is what's gonna keep it looking good for all six years. Oh, and, it, and it looks extra glossy. Yes, oh, yes. Yeah, just yeah. like the clear coat on your paint. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool, that, it's good to clear that up. It's more than just a piece of plastic, yes, right? Yes, <laughs> 100%. Cool. So we'll look inside of the FAQs. The first one would be, my car is under the sun most of the time. So, you know, in Malaysia, we have hot sun, and because uh, some of the people, they don't have indoor parking. So, will it take the abuse of the Malaysian weather, right? It's so hot. So, uh, how would you respond to that? Because I know in the US, I've been to Texas. Yes, hot. Oh, 46 degrees. Yes. I'm yep. never complaining about the heat here anymore. Yes, <laughs> so that's the nice part is that for uh, especially like Expel, for example, we have dealers all over the world, right? Mm -hmm. So we have people using our film in Texas, in Alaska, mm -hmm. in Saudi Arabia, yeah. in Florida. So we have humidity, we got heat, we have cold temperatures. Uh -huh. And so we're able to see and change the film to have the best performing film for all of those climates. Mm -hmm. And that's why it does very well here. Mm -hmm. Would it be any uh, uh, issue for PPF to be parked under, I mean, generally, or? or yeah, you can have, I mean, PPF, so we got to remember that PPF is paint protection film. Mm. So the point is, is that all the things that affect your paint mm -hmm. without film, mm -hmm. so rock chips, uh, you know, chemicals, the sun that hurts your paint, mm -hmm. now is hurting the film. Oh, okay. So the film takes all that damage. So if you pull that up 10 years later, or mm -hmm. you go to sell the car, Perfect paint, like Got it. perfect. Got it, so so it's oak, it's common, I mean, it might get damaged, right? Because it's what it is, it's yes. a sacrificial layer. Yes, exactly. Okay. Got it, got it. So it, it's, it won't be a problem because it'll protect the paint, right? Yes. That's the first the, most yep. important function of PPF. Exactly. Got it, got it, okay. So the second FAQ is this, um, my car is white, yes. you know, and uh, you know, we've got some dealers in Malaysia that when you ask them for a quote, the first thing they say is, you know, no, don't bother coming in. We don't do white cars, or we yes. never do half half cars because yes. they say, well, "Well, PPF turn yellow." So, uh, what would you give advice to someone who's uh, having a white car? Will PPF turn yellow? Is it is it necessary? Is it almost always going to be like that? No, there's two parts to that. So, if somebody's telling you that they won't do a white car, they don't have very much confidence in their film. Mm. So, Expel has a warranty against yellowing. Mm. The second part of that is going to be maintenance. So it's just like if somebody never washed their car and then they complained to you and said, but my car doesn't look good, you'd say, well, you need to maintain your car, <laughs> right? You need to wash yeah, it. So it's yeah. the same thing with the PPF of, yes, our film will not yellow, but we also encourage you to wash it and care for it correctly, right? Mm. You can't take gasoline and wipe your film down every day. <laughs> every it's gonna start to deteriorate the film. Yeah. So I think that if you're a, a a good dealer and a good uh, shop that you're educating your customer of saying one, I stand behind a good product mm -hmm. like Expel, mm -hmm. and then two, this is how you should maintain it so that you don't have problems. Mm, got it. So yeah, guys, that's one of the myths that we've, we've talked about uh, in my previous video, that your PPF has to be maintained. And it's so important that you not only install the PPF because everyone's thinking about, 
where can I find the best deal? But you want to look at which dealer can take care of my PPF, can provide the after sales service. And you know, what I found was very important as I, learned, as I got educated with the Expel Malaysia stuff, I have to service it, I have to maintain it from time to time. There's a dedicated PPF cleaner. Yes, right? 100%. Yeah. Yep. Right. Yeah, and it's just like your, it's just, treat it just like your clear coat of your paint. Mm. You need to wash it. You can put uh, wax or a spray on it, uh, detail spray. Yep. Ceram you want to keep it clean just like your paint. The goal is that it's protecting the paint, but you still want to, it's not invincible. Yep. You still want to care for it just like you would normally with your paint. Got it, got it. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah. So the third question would be, how long will my PPF last? Because some people, they're looking for value, right? Of so, course, uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. So again, I, with PPF, I go to maintenance, mm -hmm. right? And it's, it's the same thing about, have you ever seen a car with 100,000 kilometers on it? Yeah. And it looks really good. Yeah. And you ask the owner how, and he goes, oh, I wash it every Saturday. Twice a year, I put uh, wax on it. Same thing with the PPF. If you care for it and you do the maintenance like the shop or like Expel suggests, I've seen it last 10 years, 15 years. Whoa. If you take bad care of it and don't ever wash your car, it's still protecting the paint, but it can start to deteriorate after time. Oh, got it. That's, that's a really cool way to look at it. Yeah. No wonder after my car, after two and a half years, driving it on track, on driving it on roads, you know, mountain roads, B roads, Thailand back. Yeah. And because I wash it every week. You know? Exactly. The only time I didn't wash it every week was when I was in Thailand. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, I joke that with warranties, we actually design the warranty for the person who's not going to take care of their car, uh. right? Because we don't want to blame them and say you didn't take care of it. But uh. if you take care of it, it's just, like we see like Toyota or Honda can have 400 kilometers because, or 400,000 kilometers because he serviced it and changed the oil. Mm. And then you have one that never changed the oil and void warranty and Kaput. falls apart after 60,000 kilometers. Mm, so same mm. thing. Got it, got it. Okay. So um, I got another question that I popped, it popped up in me, in my mind as, I, as I'm we're going through these questions, would be that, because I, I got this question not on Instagram, someone asked me, say, my, my PPF is cracking. And then uh, when I peel my PPF, my paint's coming off. So, so, you know, it happens to some PPF. Yes. So what, what's the best way to deal with that? Like, uh, so, so normally with the PPF cracking, that's going to be not very high quality PPF. Mm -hmm. They've either used a thinner urethane or it has a different uh, chemistry makeup or no top coat. And so the sun is really, because it's hot out yeah. uh, and so warm here, it's starting to deteriorate the film. So that's usually the the first problem Without is that it's just, yeah. yeah, it's, it's going to be not the best film. And then the second part, as far as uh, pulling paint, a lot of times is going to be uh, with the installation because we'll do certain, a good uh, shop, like here uh, with the shop we're at, they'll do certain techniques so that the film is easier to remove if you ever had to remove it. Mm. And also I heard the adhesive quality and the, the yes. it's very important. Yes, 100%. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah. we had a Rolls Royce that came in. I don't know if you saw that video. No. I'll put the video guys so you can yes. see it. We had a Rolls Royce and, and it was just like a, it was like a horror film. Oh. Just people pulling off and, and little sweeping. Little speed and adhesive everywhere. Yeah, clear coat yes. of the paint coming off. Oh, wow. Oh, it was, it was, like, a, it was like a horror film. I, my heart just sank seeing that and they took like, a, the, I think five or six boys, seven days to remove all, the, all of it oh, off. Oh, wow. And the car had, definitely has to go for probably a respray as well. Wow. Yeah, and, and uh, that's a full wrap. And well, you know how, how big Rolls Royces are, oh, right? Oh, huge. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a nightmare. <laughs> well, and a big part of being, like for, for us with the Expel, we want to have partners, right? So anybody that carries our film is called a partner because we believe that we have good products and we're a good brand, mm -hmm. but we also want somebody that will service that well as well so mm. like for the rolls royce maybe that got repainted i don't know but maybe oh that's not not expel that's not expel. right right but yeah. um, well okay so then but uh we could get a car in sometimes at a shop where maybe oh. it got a respray uh -huh. well if you're a good shop you bring the customer in and you say hey this might be a respray i don't know how it was prepped because we need good paint underneath yeah so uh, again a, a good shop is a big part of that and all of our our partners that we bring on as shops we vet to make sure that they will service the customer and educate them and set the expectation. They don't just say like, oh, paint will be perfect. You'll never have an issue. Don't need to wash it. 
never going to get a scratch. We mm. like to say, hey, this is what it can and can't do. This is how you maintain it. And then they go over the car and they say, here's an issue with the paint. Well, you know, this could happen, that could happen. And that's really what makes a good shop that gives you good service. Mm. You know what, that's exactly the experience I've gotten from Adi, uh, from uh, Expel Malaysia. Yes. Because my car came in looking like this got shotgun as well <laughs> yes. by Spider, And uh, I told Adi I want to do PPF, but before that I want to paint it. And he walked me through the whole process. Yes, exactly. It's like you, got, you can't put on PPF immediately because exactly. the gas is still coming off. Yes. So he took the time to explain to me and I got it, and yes. I got it. And, and after the whole process, the car came out good, and then he walked, he just took me from, from, from one end to the other end. Yes. And, and I think for the audience, and that's when you got to evaluate, I think when you are going to have um, your car installed by a PPS specialist, don't just look at the price, you know, look at the service. Yes, right? well, yeah. let's talk, I mean, if we talk about price, right? So when I go to a nice restaurant, right? Yeah. I mean, we're, we spend a lot of money. Yeah. What happens? They come out and they talk about each menu item and they say, this steak is from Japan. It's uh, Wagyu or Kobe. Yeah, yeah. And this was prepared and grown locally. And then we do a slight, they explain everything everything right and then you but you pay a lot well I could go get a steak on the street for two dollars but I paid a hundred dollars for that experience because they educated me on everything that they did so mm. the same thing with here that it does cost more to have a, a good product you know if we look at our clothes we could go buy super cheap clothes right but yep. then we know that it's gonna get a hole or the, mm. the stitch isn't good mm. so we pay more for quality mm. so we like to think that with expel our products are good quality, and then the partners that install them give good service. No, I've definitely received it. It's, 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 it's exactly what you spoke about. This is, oh, this is awesome. Yep. Yeah, okay. So last uh, FAQ, which is this. Now this one is uh, a bit more for the people who've used PPF a couple of times. Pre-cut or hand-cut? Because some guys who say, well, you know, pre-cut is the cheaper way because yes. it's a machine cutting out and hand cuts the more expensive way and, and because the pre-cut will have all the edges popping out and here and there. Now, personally, I choose, I choose pre-cut, yes. you know, but I wanna, you've been in the industry for 20 years, so yes. what's, uh, which is better? Well, so if we're saying that we put paint protection film on our car to protect it, yeah. right, from rock chips, from, you know, bugs, from whatever, well, then, to the reason that pattern so expel started as a software company DAP, it, it, right? yeah, yeah dap exactly we didn't we we didn't have film we used 3m film and then we just had software the reason we came out with software was because we were installing originally back in the late 90s and using a knife mm. to cut that out well eight mils is like five sheets of paper but then it's a soft plastic so it's pretty tough to not cut through that. Mm. So what was happening was somebody was paying all this money to protect their car, and then an installer was cutting all around and cutting the paint. So, oh, exactly. Imagine if it's like a, right. a collector's oh, car. For sure, oh. exactly. And then because the paint is cut, then the film gets pulled and it pulls the paint because the film, the paint got cut. Ouch, I feel, I'm feeling it. That's what I, so, so that's where D DAP, the, the pattern software came about was because we said, huh, what if, can we make a pattern that you don't have to cut and now the installer can have the skill to put it where it needs to go. Mm. So we purposefully designed the patterns to go to the edge to where it won't lift and it won't come back, but it still protects all the paint. Mm. So we think that that's the best of, of all worlds. You're still protecting the paint, but you're not gonna accidentally, and some installers might say, oh, but I'm a good, I can cut, you know, I can cut good and won't cut yeah, through yeah, the paint. Yeah. Well, go ask them for a piece of film and you try to cut it. I mean, it's- Not easy to no, cut. No, not at all. A, a good PPF with the clear coat and the thick urethane. Yeah. Yes, and like, it's yes, at some point, I don't care if you, I mean, even my, I'm good, right? Yeah. I've done it a long time yeah. and I probably will cut through at some point. Yeah. It's just, it, it, it's super thin. And if you're gonna work on the car for like, for hours and hours, you-, you Right. Yeah, yeah, you right. get tired. And right? our patterns fit, I mean, our patterns are all designed uh, for each car mm. and it's, perfectly designed to fit to just that grill piece and just the bumper. And so some guys might say, usually if a shop says, oh, we don't do patterns, it's because they don't want to pay the price that it costs to use the pattern. Got it. And so they're trying to sell you on this is better, I can get better coverage, when in reality, they just don't want to pay for the pattern. So guys, yep. this is from, taking from the men who probably have more than tens and thousands of hours yes. <laughs> installing yes. PPM, yes. all right? Yeah, uh, and, and I also, this is my personal take, this is just mine. Mm. I, 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 my logic is 
you've got 8 mils, and if you're going to stretch it and pull it, then what happens to the 8 mils? It becomes, is it right? It, it yeah. starts stretching. Sure, it, yeah, right? it thins up a little it bit. It thins up, yeah. it might break the clear coat. Yes. You know, then, then you start exposing your, yes. uh, your, your PPF to the elements. Yes. Right? And yep. what's the whole point, right? Exactly. Yeah, so you, I mean, for me, it's like, I want to protect my car, right? Yes. And, and for some car lovers, enthusiasts, it's like your wife, you know? <laughs> yes, yes, exactly, yes. <laughs> Better not say that my fiance is sitting out there. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I've got a lot of questions answered today, and um, uh, whoa, let's come up to the last two questions, I believe, okay. I think could be useful for anyone who is uh, um, thinking about PPF. So, um, between a high-grade and low-grade PPF, just a few points, like, what, what would be, what would we be looking for? Let's say you walk in the shop and you're a total newbie, you're like I'm going to buy PPF. So w in your world, what would be oh, a few pointers? What is a high grade PPF and low grade PPF? So the people know what to look for when they're going to sure. look for PPF. So generally your high grade PPF is going to have the top coat. That's going to be top uh, coat. Uh, far and away the most important thing. Because again, where we talked about yellowing, longevity, we need that top coat to protect the urethane, just like the clear coat to protect your paint. Mm. So that's gonna be the number one thing between high and low grade. Then also between high and low could be the thickness. Mm. So sometimes uh, companies will thin down the urethane layer so that it's cheaper and then still call it a PPF. But obviously the thinner you go, the less protection that you have. Mm. And then I would say the other important part is gonna be the uh, warranty and how well that product is backed. Mm. Meaning that we are very well known and we uh, back our warranty and uh, stand behind that. Whereas if it's a no name brand uh, from uh, different countries, then they might be out of business next year, or maybe they won't stand behind their warranty and you try to call, et cetera, et cetera. So that's a big part too, is that we stand behind our products uh, and that's why they cost what they do. Mm, got it, got it. So those are the few things to look out for, because so many jargons out there, yes. you know, like, uh, you know, we have X amount of, you know, hardness and coating mixed yes, with people. So, yes, so yes. many things, so this is very good pointers, right? Yes. All right, thanks. Now, last one, which is this. Um, now, this is a, uh, per, uh, uh, this is more of asking your personal opinion, sure. right? Because we're all car lovers, you know? Yes. And uh, I got asked this question a lot in uh, car meets and stuff. So, some people say, Thomas, I can't afford Expel's PPF, right? Uh, I, I want to get one, but I just can't afford it. Uh, I got X budget, like Malaysian, you know, 5,000 ringgit, you know, for my whole car. So, should I go for a cheaper brand? I get the full PPF. Or should I go for half, you know, with Expel, or should I just, you know, don't do it at all? You know, what's what's your opinion? I'll share mine. You know, um, you know, budget is tough, right? Yeah. It's it, it's funny for car guys. If we were to think about it, uh, I think how much I spent on my wheels, or <laughs> you know, what I, like the things that I spend, or to change the shifter, yeah. or and so when we talk about protecting it, that's usually pretty important yeah. and I know sometimes in the beginning we would say like oh that's too expensive I'll just drive carefully and I promise the first time you get a big rock chip and you're just like I, sh oh. I should have done it right yeah so um, but if, if you just don't have the money then start with the areas that you know you know uh, behind the wheels or, or maybe the bumper or maybe your door edges or your mirrors. Mm. Like think of the spots, like I, I tell customers if they're wondering where the rocks are gonna go hit, drive the first week you get the car in the, on a rainy day and you can see right where things are hitting, right? Hopefully you don't have no chips yet. Yeah. But you hear um, the, all the mud and stuff, you see yes, that's exactly, exactly. where they hit. Yeah. And then the, another thing because Expel also, we have a big portfolio of products, right? So I wanna to touch on this real quick too, because we have PPF, we have ceramic coating, yeah. window tint, yeah. uh, things like that. Now a big misconception is that I don't need PPF because I got ceramic coat mm. and that protects my paint. So there are two different protections. So the ceramic coating is basically a wax on steroids. Mm. And the reason that we wax our cars for two, for two reasons, one to make it glossy, yeah. really shiny. Yeah. And then the second one is so that it's slick, so, so dirt doesn't stick to it. Mm. So then it washes easy and we're not wa grinding dirt back into it to scratch it. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only two things, yeah. not chip protection. Although we talk about hardness and 9H, yeah. that's, I mean, it's, it's nanomicrons thick. Yeah. So, the PPF, on the other hand, is to protect from impact, right? Yeah. So the best of both worlds would be both, but don't think that you're going to get 
uh, impact protection from ceramic from coating. coating. Yeah, that's a very okay. good one. Yeah, I totally missed that because some people think, well, I got nine H nine yes. hardness. But yes. look, if a if a stone flies in, no, you're done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah cool. So yeah, I, and just like what Chris said, I'll, I'll I'll sort of follow what he said, which is you know think about the areas that you you have the highest exposure exactly. right and then spend the budget with a good quality ppf protect that those areas and just like what he said when you when you when you get it when you cannot right mm -hmm. we say really you know when you cannot then that's when you're going to say i wish i had yes, it yes right? yes and then exactly. you're going to respray it and then you take the bump out you risk breaking things putting back in and stuff and like you that. know what that you some people think that once they get a couple of rock chips they can't protect it. Yeah. You 100% can do a little touch up and put it on. Yeah. Like I, I, I don't, I'm cheap. So all my cars, I always buy used because yeah. I don't want to take the, Same. Depreci <laughs> or the, the depreciation. Yeah. But I put PPF still on every one, even though there's a couple rock chips that yeah. I touch up. So just do a little touch up yeah. and then you put, put, it, put on it on. Yeah. It looks perfect because exactly. then you have the PPF's um, glossiness yes, on top of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. So yeah, guys, I mean, you know, my opinion is that if you can't get, you know, like a full PPF with a high grade PPF, go with the high grade PPF, but with less protection and then, you know, take care of the parts that you need versus having it all. Because as we discussed earlier, it can entail other problems, i.e. yellowing, cracking, uh, yeah. you know, and all well, and If you go cheap, you go cheap and you get the yellowing and cracking, then in six months, you're going to go, I wish I would have got, it's the same thing people do with shoes or with, with any product, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, I should have gone with uh, the good quality, yeah. right? Because then that's why we have a six year warranty is because it can last six years. Yeah. And the irony is, if you put on something to protect the, the aesthetic of the car and the aesthetics of the car got ruined by what you put on, yeah. then what's the then point, the point. Right? Exactly. what's the point? And, and, no, you, you, and then sometimes when you peel off, you peel off the paint, then you're not protecting no. the car anymore, no. right? Lose, lose. Yeah, yeah, got it. So I've uh, answered most of uh, the FAQs. So Chris, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Yeah. That was great. Anything else you want to say to our Malaysian uh, viewers? and? Uh, I love it here. I yeah. think it's a beautiful city. I've I had my first time being here and um, I think, yeah, I, I, I've got to come back. I got to do the trip to Chiang Mai, right? The rally. Yeah. That would be it. We're doing it this year. That's what no. you were saying. Yeah. I'll 8th of to December to, to 20th and then we're going to go dust rough and see all the, all the air cool Porsches and the Porsches, yeah. all, all the Porsches there. I'll come down. <laughs> and I'll do a plug for Expel, guys. We uh, are super proud to be here in Malaysia. We have great partners. Um, if you've used other brands or if you haven't had PPF, give us a try. All our shops uh, are, are trained, they're certified, and we just keep innovating our products and coming out with better and better products. So give us a shot. Yeah, as a, as a user and also an ambassador, seeing how um, the, the level of commitment to training and the guys who are part of the executive team are people who are you know, involved with PPF, not some guy doing accounts only. They have PPF background, they have installation background, yep. they have car, automotive care background, you know. So it's the company really driven by passion. I'm, I'm really experiencing it, you know, in my experience as a customer, and, but seeing them, you know, continuously training. So look guys, if you haven't tried PPF, if you want to like this, like what Chris said, try it. I've, I've used it. I love it. You know, you guys should get on it if you're ever thinking about PPF, right? If you have more questions answered, I'll just put the link in below to find your nearest dealer, get your car in and ask for a quotation and uh, you can ask all the certified dealers because they are trained to answer your questions as well, all right? So thank you so much, Chris. All right? Thank you. And uh, we'll see you next time. Uh, and uh, thank you so much for making Expel great. Thank you yep, so much. Thank right? you. Appreciate it. Perfect. Thanks. Cheers, 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 guys. Cheers. And uh, if you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe and uh, let me know in the comments below what else you want to know about PPM, right? Cheers, guys, and uh, keep it 100. <laughs>